Alright, so hi there, my name is Thomas Whitaker uh, and I'm going to show you my FMP proposal for music tech. So I'll start off with my aims. So record and produce a four track EP for an artist. So we'll be working with artists for this one. And we'll just be producing them in the studio. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get the four track EP. Uh, and marketing and design for music gig. So uh, I did that. Uh, did a bit of that uh, last last time we had a big project and yeah I'd just like to expand it a bit more hopefully yeah and in the end I hope for it like it's all part of it like, ultimately comes up to a big uh, musical event at the end so context so all my skills I've kind of learned to kind of help me become like help me to do what I want to do uh, so for producing, I've got how to research music genres. So we had a unit where we had to research all sorts of music genres. So I kind of learned how to do that. And, uh, so I've got recording in the studio. I've learned from many units how to do that. And I've got a lot of experience doing it from outside of college as well. Uh, just working with people. And I've got mixed, mixing and mastering tracks, which we learned from uh, our college tutor. We had quite a lot of lessons on that, and I've also done a lot of that. Uh, so people skills, which is quite good, not only just for like working with people inside of the studio, but also just for like chatting to them on like Facebook Messenger to get all the information out of them. And just, it's just all kind of about that, not wasting their time too much, and just getting the products that you really want from them, just by talking to them the best you can. So for marketing, uh, so it's kind of I've got uh, design posters and stuff, and I, I won the contest for posters. So mine was the best looking. Uh, it kind of showed the information, and I put a lot of effort into it. And it's got quite a lot of skills doing Photoshop, which I've also kind of expanded from doing my last. Uh, College project, which was also music music from the movies. So yeah, I made the tickets there, and I also made the Russell. And yeah, planning, planning, which is a skill that I've learned, which you get taught, but you have to learn a lot yourself. And it's just one of the main skills. I've learned to like plan out my whole days, plan out studio sessions, plan out when I'm. Uh, like uploading stuff on social media or when I need my posters for. It's just a skill that you learn. You get to it, you need to learn a lot of it yourself and I've done a lot of that. So for primary research, uh, since I'm doing quite a lot of design work, I'm hoping to uh, do surveys on designs, hand that around to people around college, see what works best, because obviously when it comes to marketing, you want what the people want. And so yeah, by using surveys and stuff, people decide what looks best and stuff out of all the designs I do. Uh, focus groups on marketing tactics. So just with people, because like they're all just kind of like, everyone's just like an individual, everyone kind of knows what they want and just kind of just talk to people about, uh, if I can talk to people about uh, what they kind of thinks best what would just like kind of get their attention believe that kind of be able to do the job better. Uh, interview, interviewing people who do studio production. So at college we've got a good resource. That's quite a lot of people who can record or well, who do recording and play on their own and stuff and producing tracks as well. Uh, which is good because I'll be able to interview them ideally with a kind of semi-structured interview because I feel like the structure's just kind of structured interviews kind of you can get the information but sometimes there's little side bits that you can't really get and uh, non-structured interviews uh, I just I wouldn't really feel prepared if I had a non-structured interview. That's why yeah I hope to do semi-structured interviews over like emails or in person and interview people you marketing design as well just to yeah because I know quite a lot of people is People who do design in Paul's class, uh, who's the art tutor, and there's Paul himself who will be able to help us with uh, design and stuff. 
So secondary research, I've got to look at a lot of social media marketing accounts. It's like they're they're all over the place. They like every brand has a social media marketing account and just research them and just look kind of what they've done. Uh, yeah, on YouTube there are many videos for Photoshop, which is kind of for design and stuff. And like, it's just kind of endless. You just keep on finding it. And, like any other informational site, it's just looking up how to do stuff, basically. So I'm not going to kind of move on to any potential threats that are happening, but first of all, I've got a kind of swap diagram, which kind of about weaknesses and what I'm good at. Like, I've got experience recording artists from doing all of that at college. I know how to set up a studio, know how to do all the instruments and stuff. So I've done it millions of times. Communicating with artists, I've had to do that a whole lot since I've worked on about three projects uh, where I've had to communicate with kind of people or the artists, see what I want. I've created designs for computer programs, had a GCSE art, and I learned a lot of Photoshop. I've just I've got a bit of an eye for it because I've always kind of been doing designs, but yeah, it, I've just kind of, it's always been a kind of passion of mine, so I've just kind of learned a lot on Photoshop outside of college as well. Printing up and cutting posters and tickets, so I've done that twice now, and I've got a good technique now, but I'm very good at that, I can do it very quickly, and <coughs> I kind of know where to get resources from, like paper and stuff and where to put it out and stuff. Time management and planning, because I've done before, I've done a lot of that. And you can't really survive without doing that a lot of the time. I've got a musical ear from playing many instruments myself. It's something you like, learn over time, especially when I'm listening to bands or stuff, is you, you, like, you can start zoning into the things. Like, if you start playing that instrument, you start kind of getting a bit of an ear for it. Like, I, I can play the drums, the keyboard, and the bass. And it's also quite good for like filling in people for people if they don't come. Since I'm, I'm able to play all these. Yeah, I've done marketing before, uh, friends with the artist. I'm working with a good Joe Philian who's also just one of my friends. So that's just quite handy, that's beneficial. I've got weaknesses, emailing people. Sometimes uh, it's just a bit makes me a bit anxious doing that, but I know I'm uh, and not knowing when to stop coming up with ideas in the studio, it's quite hard to do that because you can get carried away an awful lot and before the end of it but when it gets to the end you just don't realise but you're out of time stretching myself over too many tasks, I can't stress myself out by doing that which is why uh, which is where planning comes into place time is when planning uh, I've never ordered, uh, ordered merchandise before, uh, showing things on social media, sometimes I'm a bit anxious to do that, and I don't have logic or Photoshop at home, which are two, or a studio for that matter, which is kind of everything I need. So opportunities, whole college with people I can talk to for help, there's a whole art department, music department, and there's all sorts, and like the main thing, uh, we went all around there, we did sound design, uh, went around there, like, like collecting sounds and stuff for sound design. Like all over the place, we've been all around the place. Got a good idea what's around everywhere. Uh, whoop, students are recording, not just in the college. So yeah, some of them are recording uh, outside of college, which will hopefully mean more time for us inside the college studio. Uh, working with an artist who I've recorded before, which is very beneficial because we know how to kind of talk, you know how to get our ideas across to each other, and we like kind of bounce off each other to each other which is very good and yeah only working with one eyes which will be very useful or good for me threats if my artist don't record it doesn't practice but I've got good faith in her so hopefully she will but uh, timetables not lining up with the two different courses which can sometimes be a problem it's been a problem in the past for almost every time we've had to like externally record someone who like isn't on tech but it's on the music course instead. Working with musical drawings I've never done before. And people might not want to buy merchandise. So potential sets production, artists being unable to play. So in that case, 
uh, I should be able to learn the part since I can play all the instruments. And there's a whole bunch of people in the college who are very good at improvising as well. It also goes right, she's not showing up. Like I've learned, sometimes you can get people in and they can just lay things down. I know you shouldn't always rely on that though. But yeah, it's just a backup in case the artist can't, can't do it. Uh, not being able to book the studio, that's a big problem. It also coincided with, really, kind of, it's also with uh, uh, like the, the schedules, like not being able to go together with like the tech students and the music, or music students. But it should ideally work since we've got five producers uh, and five days a week, so it should probably be like one person in a day. And there's also people recording outside of college as well, so that will hopefully help. And we'll have a studio manager who will be in charge of all that. Uh, not mixing the song right, just kind of, this is from like my reflection as well. Uh, I'm going to hopefully, because we'll be recording it together uh, with the artist, and ideally we'll be mixing it and I'll be able to send it to her, like each mix. She'll be able to say if I'm doing it right or not. I'll just kind of get a lot of feedback from her, uh, get carried away with recording. So I put it on my sheet. We do have a bit of overspill time, but it should be one song for each recording session because I know that is doable and I've done it before like many times. But if that's not the case, we will have the overspill slots, but I'm limiting it, trying to limit it to one song for each uh, time around the recording booth. Mix. I've planned it out so that I should have enough time to mix all the songs. So yeah, that's hopefully going to be able to do it. So potential threats: no one buying merchandise. So if no one's doing that. Uh, might have to start cutting prices. But ideally, a lot of people will be buying them because I'll have done the research into what people like. But yeah, if no one's buying. Them, then we'll have to start like, cutting prices on them and stuff. But if no one's following the social media, then might have to resort to be more public, handing out flyers to people in public, which I think I'm not, not really afraid to do that. I'd be fine with doing that, getting people to do that. Uh, not knowing how I'm printing out things, which is often a problem in college. Uh, so hopefully we're just going to be uh, raising funds for paper in case we don't have paper. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have got printers at home and stuff. So people with printers at home are going to be raising funds for paper. And also, there's quite a lot of people who've got credit on their colleagues like now for printing out the printers in here, which, yeah, we should be able to use. I'm talking to people professionally through emails, so yeah, that's, that's a big problem of mine, because I do get a bit anxious and I sometimes don't know what to say. But I do work with, well, with my, colleagues, uh, well, there's just a lot of resources in college and a lot of people I know are very good at wording emails and I can talk to them about it and they can help me out. And being unable to create designs, uh, there's a whole art department next door who I can go in and ask for help if I need any help in creating designs. So we're planning in production, it's just kind of a chart that I've made, quite basic, I've tried to Kind of the whole gig is like not fully organised yet, and we, we might have to adjust it to how each other's going. But yeah, that's just kind of what I've came up with for the kind of timeline we've got. So see, it's like one day for each song. Then I've got caught any extras, so we're always close off. And yeah, three weeks of mixing four songs should surely be enough. Then burning tracks on their DVDs. Create the designs, hand out surveys, create the gig logo from the portion survey results. Uh, to create a website to advertise it as well. And, like, and we'll start on creating merchandise for social media posts, which will have to link to the website as well. There will be printing tickets, cut them out, create the CD artwork, and ordering merchandise for the CD cover. And then there's a little tasks slot on the side and that'll be any kind of tasks we get I'll be putting in there any kind of tasks we have to do right, for the for the project for like create, doing the whole gig and I'll be able to put them in there. 
So our resources, going to get a venue, and like most of the resources we've got here at college, it's mainly just the people. So bands and artists, which are people, event organisation group. So we're all working on creating a whole musical event together. We've got uh, programmes I'll need for designing and uh, uh, producing music and recording studio. Ideally, that's all I need. Uh, there'll be a lot of extras. Uh, but, yeah. So practical skills. So it's selling the brand. Uh, it's selling the brand. It's all about making it look good and stuff. Kind of I've looked online about how to sell sell the brand, how to brand something, make it look good, keep everything like kind of the same. So everyone knows kind of what they're looking at. Uh, design skills. I've got a lot of them for doing GCSE art and learning Photoshop and during that and on my own as well and doing it in our last project music from the movies. Ability to use the design software, yeah, kind of the same. Uh, ability to use digital audio workstation, like uh, all of the units we've done on college about that, people skills, micro editing, which is quite a skill that you need when you're recording artists in the studio. Uh, just getting quick edits done before, because you don't want to keep on waiting too long. Adaptability. Uh, getting through research by researching quite a lot of things like adaptability you might be like uh, adapting to like kind of genres of music and stuff you do that through research so production process uh, I've looked online on quite a few websites and stuff it's kind of composition recorded demo which my artists kind of doing and then he gets that to me I can arrange it we start recording instruments uh, once it's arranged in the studio and then do any overdubbing that needs done uh, in case like, anything sounds bad or haven't done it very well and then editing which is just kind of putting everything together making the file nice and neat and workable with and then mixing and mastering which is just kind of the post-production process and everything that sounds uh, best it can. Uh, so marketing and process, putting up posters and leaflets, finding the target via demographic so we can find out who we're kind of aiming for, and we can create the social media and websites with the target demographic we kind of aim it towards that uh, and do like research in it. As well, we can find out how we can aim it towards those kind of certain people. And, uh, yeah, check analytics of like the website and the social media accounts just to see like what kind of gets the views and the clicks. So we can kind of expand on that search engine optimization, which is kind of uh, including like the kind of buzzwords you need when people are typing in things. Like done a bit of research, and it's just kind of that's one of the main things about marketing a website or getting it out there. daily updates on the uh, social media and informational posts that we've got on there as well. And also there's printing out of the tickets and the posters as well. So for my evaluation and reflection, I kind of base it on how much attention it's got and I'd like to kind of base that off how we did for our, because uh, we've done a lot of projects uh, and like on uh, live events. So it'll be a kind of attention, how much attention it gets, how much people are there. We've done the music from the movies and pop through the decades, which are two other shows, and I kind of base it off how much attention it is compared to kind of the, how many people are going. Funds raised, I like to base it off uh, those two projects we did as well, because they were live events projects. And uh, yeah, we can kind of base it off them. Opinions on tracks, uh, I'd hopefully like to post them on social media and see how people react to them and see uh, maybe do surveys and stuff I like just post it on Facebook and uh, see if people like them uh, weekly diaries so yeah I'm going to do weekly diaries of each uh, session every time I'm doing stuff uh, like whether that's mixing or marketing or kind of creating designs and stuff 
I'll have a kind of evaluation essay as well, which I'll need. We'll need it to be a kind of evaluation of everything else. Uh, like meeting checkups, so we'll have meetings made every day, wait or every week, uh, which uh, each person will be chairing and they'll be at a checkup on, we'll be at a checkup on as well. And yeah, checking up with the eyes, which kind of said with uh, checking that the mix it is going okay and stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's my bibliography. That's kind of 